Hi, this is Antoine from the Novus OS team. The version 0.1 of our new CMS is out. This screencast is dedicated to a major feature of this new version, content sharing. Nowadays, most of the CMS allow you to publish pages on the internet. It's important, of course, but we believe it's not enough. In today's multi-channel internet, you want to publish your content on social media, mobile application, newsletters. And you want your content to flow between these different channels. You want to avoid copy and paste. And this is exactly what we have in mind with Novu Size. Let me show you how it works. This is the back office of a simple Novu Size. So you'll find different application, one to handle pages, of course, another one for blog, and customer specific application. We've made it easy for developers to create customer-specific applications that fit your activity. If you're a bookseller, you'll get a book application. If you sell shoes, you will have a shoes application. And in this test case, we've created a monkey application. I've just added a new gorilla to our monkey database. She's named Coco. There you go, that's her page filled with picture, text and title. And now I want to announce to the world that Coco has joined us. So what I'm going to do is to create a blog post from this database entry. So I click the share button. What you can see here on the right hand side is the information that's going to be shared. Of course it's extracted from the monkey application. If I want to amend it, I can do it. Then on the left hand side you can see the different application that I can share the content with. I wanted a blog post. There you go. Form already filled in with the information from the monkey application. Just have to turn this into a news piece, change the title and add a new picture of Coco. And now I'll publish this. And this is how you get a blog post within seconds. But I won't stop here because now I want everybody to know about these new blog posts. So the better to do so is to share it on Twitter. So I click the share button again. Here you can find the information from the blog post. You can notice that the two pictures that are present can be selected here. And on the left hand side, as earlier, the application that I can share the content with. You'll notice there are two types of application. At the top, application like Twitter that I need to click to share. And underneath, you find your application. There is no action required for this. That means that when I save a new blog post, it is automatically added to our RSS feeds. So we wanted to tweet this new blog post. Click the Twitter button. Now I just have to add a relevant hashtag and tweet. That's it. Let's have a look at our Twitter profile to make sure it's there. Perfect. So this is how you move your content from your customer specific database to your blog and then on to Twitter. And the best with the non-content sharing in Novus OS is that the application, the blog application, has not been developed to specifically work with Twitter. It has been developed to share content with any application. That means if I had a new sharing application for Facebook, I can go back to my blog post, I just have to refresh this page, I click again on the share button and here you can notice that a new application is available. That means that your content is ready to be shared with any channel present and future. Okay, I hope you've liked this screencast. If you want to find out more about content sharing in Novus OS, I recommend you have a look at our SlideShare account. You'll understand what these crazy data catchers and content nuggets are. Okay, bye-bye.